welcome back. In this last video I'm going to show you how to add a balance sheet to the bottom of this profit and loss statement. Um, so once again I'm just putting an example business in but you can put your business name and I'll type in balance sheet. Now the very basics of the profit and loss and balance sheet are the Profit and loss shows income against expenditure, whereas the balance sheet shows assets against liabilities. So first of all, let's merge two cells together and drag that down, like so. So this first box, I'm putting the bank current account, the savings account in the one below, both are assets to the business, and so is the petty cash. the loan being a liability and also the capital account put our pound symbol in, put it in the center I'll just center all of those values that go in these boxes. So equals, click on the total, the close and balance of the bank current account. Once again, we're going to have to delete those last four characters. Equals, find the total in the savings account. The petty cash. Equals, NatWest loan, the closing total down there and the capital account and then we can put in a total down the bottom so we'll merge the other two cells together and we'll put a formula in to add the total of all the assets and liabilities or the assets minus the liabilities let's get rid of the last four characters on all of these like so You'll see the values are just appearing, the closing balances which we've selected from the monthly accounts tab are just appearing like so. So equals sum, open bracket, all of the above, close bracket. There we go. And that figure in the total box is the same on the monthly accounts and that's our assets minus our liabilities. Now to make the balance sheet balance, we're also going to add some figures over here, which will be the opening balance at the beginning of the period of the assets and liabilities, plus the profit or loss, if there's a loss in the period. So equals monthly accounts is the total, so the opening balances or the carried forward balances from the previous period, which is 500. Get rid of those last three characters. And in the total box, we want the profit plus that balance. And if you look, the figures are the same, 1550. So our balance sheet balances. And that's a very simple profit and loss statement. Please like my videos and subscribe if you found these videos useful and please check out our website.